Hi guys, in this tutorial we're going to be looking at how to make some bits out of acrylic that we're going to put on our swell to make our clock look sweet. So what we're going to do is, to start with, draw a shape that represents the size of acrylic that you'll be making your shapes out of. So that we know that is going to be 100 by 100. Okay, so that is the size of the acrylic we're going to be using. But our acrylic is not paper thin, it is 3 millimeters thick. So that is the size, the shape of acrylic that we're going to use. What we're going to do now is, I'm presuming that you're going to have four, three or four triangles or four squares or rectangles all the same size um, to make your bits out of. That might not be the case, but if you follow this kind of method, you'll you'll get it. So what I'm going to do now is, I'm going to presume that I'm cutting my acrylic into four triangles like that. What I now need to do, I'm going to need to draw round, all the way round the acrylic, where I would cut that line. Okay, you understand? So I'm focusing on this triangle here. Right, what I'm going to now do is delete all the other lines, and that will leave me with one solid triangle that I can play with. Everyone happy with that? So I've now got my acrylic triangle. Now, you will not, I wouldn't have thought, have four bits that are completely flat. Yours are going to be curved or bent or something else. And I'm now going to show you how you can bend, kind of bend, this acrylic as if it had a fold down this line so this bit is going to go up in the air. Now SketchUp will not like doing this but I have found a way of cheating it. So what I'm going to draw along is where that fold is going to be and I need to draw that fold line all the way around it like so. Right so can you see that I now have a line all the way around where my fold is going to be. What I'm now going to do, this is the bit which gets a little bit, mm, it's not ideal, but it does work. What I'm now going to do, I'm now going to draw a box so it selects all the lines of this top triangle. Can you see that? And now what I'm going to do, I'm not going to use the move tool. That does weird stuff. I'm not going to use the move tool. I'm going to use the rotate tool. And what I'm going to do, I popped it on this side. Oh, there we go. And I'm going to move it over here, and then I can bend it up in the air, leaving me with a triangle that is bent. Now, it doesn't love it, and you can see lines like this, don't try and delete them because it will delete the side, leave, making it go hollow. It's just the way SketchUp draws these shapes that are a little bit more complicated. Don't You're just going to have to live with it. As I say, this is a bit of a cheat, so... Um, yeah, just kind of get used to it. Um, what I'm now going to do, I'm now going to draw, I'm now going to fold it the other way, so I'm kind of doing like a zigzaggy lightning bolt bit of plastic. Happy with that? So again, I've drawn my line all the way around it. Select the end, get the rotate tool. And then you can start playing and making weird shapes. Uh, if you don't want it to be like that, you might just want it to fold straight down. You'll need to try and get the red. Come on. Yeah, I want the red one. Oh, no, that's done all kinds of weird stuff. There we go, that's better. So you're going to have to be a little bit careful when you start playing with this. And don't turn it too much because then all kinds of weird stuff happens. You're not going to be able to bend it too much in one go. If you wanted to do a more gentle curve, like so if you wanted to curve more, you're going to have to draw more kind of sections around it. Yeah. As I say, I kind of worked out how to do this on my own, so there might be a simpler way to do it, but I don't know what it is. And this is for drawing very complicated 
shapes in SketchUp. So now this time I'm going to hit this one. Again, you really want the rotating thing to be red. If it's not red, you're going to end up with it doing very odd stuff, which you don't want. Okay. I'm going to select the bottom bit. The key, I think, and I'll say, this is just me trying to work it on my own. The key to this is not to try and rotate it too much, otherwise, it starts looking very odd. But you can see how I've now got a bent and then curved shape. That is tricky as to do. So, well done, us. And now, let's say I needed four of those. I could just copy that. Like we did before. Um, and then I would have four pretty cool acrylic shapes that I could then put onto my thing. Okay. Very good, thanks a lot.